I'm gonna to try to make this video one more time. I am absolutely terrible at explaining things and talking on camera. <laughs> I have a, a really good appreciation for the people on YouTube that, that make these videos and actually sound coherent. Uh, once I listen to them back, it's like rambling, like a rambling idiot, but okay, so I did some quick measurements. And so from here, outside to outside is 31 inches wide. And then from uh, here to, to over there, it is 41 inches long. And then uh, on the base, this is from this side to this side, that's 14 inches and 21 from up here to up there. And then I don't know how you would, uh, I guess I could measure the two roof pieces, but, and then they sit on hinges. If you can see that there's two hinges. So they, it like clamshells open, um, from the top, like this side opens up and then that side opens up that way. And then a couple other things I remember, uh, dad telling me about this thing. Well, number one, he should have used Margarine, Marie, marine grade plywood when he built it because I don't I think he just used whatever wood he had left over and there is like on the roof there's some rot happening I got to rebuild the roof and I noticed even over here like some of that stuff starting to rot a little bit and I, I stain this thing every year when I stain my deck I I run the the roller over it and stain it but a uh, couple things about it uh, the glass he said was was pretty expensive. I don't know what two big pieces of glass like that cost, but uh, it was in the neighborhood of probably over a hundred dollars for both pieces. But they sit on a block of wood. There's a block here, and then a block over there, and there's about a half an inch of gap that that gives it. So uh, as the birds come in and eat the seed, uh, gravity does its thing, and it it kind of just falls out. And then. Uh, the shingles, he had somebody that was redoing a roof and they had like a half a pack of shingles left over, which is what he used for uh, the roof of this thing. Because if you bought a whole uh, pack of shingles, they can be pretty expensive too. And then I'm not sure where he got the three inch pole to put it on, but it goes down into the ground probably a good two or three feet. And we put, I think, two 70 pound bags of quickcrete in there and then just hosed it down and let it set up and then filled the hole back in. Um, and then the only other thing is he had, at some point had to take this pole into a fabrication shop and have him weld that plate on there. And then those lag bolts just go through the bottom of the feeder and they're underneath all the seed up there. But ah, yeah, if anyone else has any questions or want, wants more dimensions or Whatever you, whatever you got, just put them in the comments and I will do my best to, uh, to answer them or, or talk about them. Huh, there's a couple of deer up there in the woods. But the deer, or the deer actually do come into this feeder sometimes. Oh, I see them moving. I don't know if I can get them on camera. Um, in the wintertime, they'll, they'll come in if it's cold and nasty and stuff and eat whatever the, the birds scratch out around the bottom. But there's been quite a few birds in here already today. I think a good majority of them know this thing's filled up. So it'll be a non-stop uh, frenzy of, of bird feeding here. So um, I will maybe take, take some videos. I like uh, getting my GoPro and setting it up right here on the edge and just watching stuff that comes in. So maybe I'll do that sometime. But uh, okay, that's enough. I'm starting to ramble and... Like I said, if you have questions, feel free to ask them in the comments.